hour-long top eight match. We're brutally tired. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly. With me, my host, Matt Hausler. What up? We've got your top four feature match right now. It's a Bant Eldrazi mirror. We've got Ben Miney, Daniel Unger, both playing the same decks. Ben Miney's going to be on the play. Daniel Unger chose the format. Uh, I think a quote from him was, uh, you played Blood Moons in the main. Let's play Let's modern. Play modern. <laughs> Referring to the Blood Moons in the main of Ben Miney's board. Thank you so much for sticking with us and joining us today for this Nerd Rage Gaming Championship. We're down to our final four. It's Ben Miney, Daniel Unger, Peter Tragos, and Noah Cohen. Nice. Almost could have predicted it if, you know, if I was a betting man, but Almost. I'm not, and I didn't, so. Oh, my gosh. You just have to take my word for It's it. just been the longest day. It's, we're close to 12 hours. 12 hours of streaming. Of streaming, not uh, being here. Well, I yeah, um, well, I was here at 8. You were here at 8, like, 30, 30 or 8.15. You got here fairly early. Mm -hmm. um, you don't got to tell me. Yeah, 8.23, right on the dot for you. Wowie zowie. I can, I can tell you, uh, I walked in at, like, 7.55, mm -hmm. and uh, no one else was here, and I was like, huh. Huh. Like what's this? Ah, this what's is, this about? Huh, this is different. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. They said uh, you were supposed to be there at eight thirty. Andrew, and you like, got you got oh. some pranks. I got, I got, I, I'm not surprised. Uh, Bradbury walked in. Just, you, you got <laughs> so man. You got so <laughs> pranks, <laughs> bro. Actually, I heard prank invasions back. I, I, that's what, that's uh, the word on the street, is I'm, that Prank Invasion's back, and it's n now hotter than ever. That's sure. what I'm going to start naming our stream, like, NRG s Standard CT. Don't call it a comeback. Uh, You've been here for years. No. Presented at Nerd Rage Gaming no, by Nerd it's, Rage it's, Gaming. Yeah, it's going to be like, Nerd Rage Gaming CT, uh, at Nerd Rage Gaming, kissing prank, ends in blowjob. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> we'll see how fast we, oh. uh, we get some viewers. <laughs> And people were like, whoa, what? did you guys see the stream on well, Twitch? I watched it to the end. <laughs> I watched it to the end, and there was nothing. Liars. They're liars. Oh, boy. It's been a long day, viewers. It's been Thank a you for long. sticking That's with us. That's what I'm us. saying. Hey, look at this. Much appreciated. So we talked about how Ben Money was on the play. Daniel Unger chose Modern. So Noah Cohen picked the play. Peter Tragos opted to play standard. So what's that matchup look like? Standard to standard. Noah's playing that terrible Noah's playing energy. Red green energy. And Peter Tragos, Tragos is playing Knight that either works, I don't yeah. know. That might actually be a good match for Noah. Maybe. I mean it's that's a pretty aggressive deck to play against the Aetherworks deck that has no like ways to answer removal, your threats. Like no mass yeah. removal. Like you just drop a tu like a tusk cub and and go and go to pump town. It, pump it to town, yeah. Long long tusk cub. Sure. Long tusk cub He's a long time. We got 25 viewers. These 25 viewers are excited to watch how this matchup yeah, goes. Yeah, you guys are. You guys all are these guys. It's all our yeah champions right now. That's all our regular guys. All our friends. For sure. Dude, these guys are all loving it. We love it absolutely. Where else would they be? There's nowhere else to go on Twitch. It's only Saturday night, you guys. Come on, what guys. Are you gonna, what are we gonna do? It's snowing outside. Yeah, I'm worried to drive home because my car is essentially a death trap in the snow. Yeah, you're driving like. A mile, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm driving to Chicago. Yeah, why do you live all the way on there? Uh, huh? Why don't you come back out this way, Doug? Maybe one day. You know the place across from me is for sale right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah invest in some real estate. Get, get some real... You get own on, some land. Get on that land Get, get some land. Charge some land What do we think is going on on Snapchat? Anything sweet? Uh, Probably not. Oh, snap. Matt Bamante's here. Were you here the entire time? Was he here the entire time? He didn't say anything. I'm bet. I bet you just I don't know tuned if he in. Was here the entire nah, time. he just tuned in. I know him. He's like, I've been here the whole time, you guys. Right. Good job. Don't worry, guys. I've been here waiting for you this entire time. Remember, don't try to trick me. You remember when all that magic happened and that guy cast that brainstorm? Ah, liar, oh. Mappa Monty. Because <laughs> no, we've seen zero. Filthy liar. We've seen no brainstorm today. There's been nothing. And we're not going to see any time soon because this is modern. Welcome and to this modern. This is a Bant Eldrazi mirror I like, match. I, I like how like nobody wants to play Ben Miney in my Miracles deck because there's Blood Moons in the main. What's that about? You got Blood Moons in the main. Well, let's, maybe you should right. play less tools. Well, let's play modern. <laughs> oh, I see you have Blood Moons. Well, that's terrible. Yep. Time to play modern. It's a fair call. I'd, I'd, I'd do it uh, if I was Daniel as well. Be like, I guess we're. Seeing who's better in the mirror. Players uh, <laughs> finally have decks assembled. Drawn seven. Checking the seven. 
They're good to go. Do we have a game one here? Show me a game one and not a game that lasts for an hour and 25 minutes. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, uh, Eldrazi, Mirror, uh... Yeah? I what think, do you, what uh, do you think? Well, I think, I think a Ben Eldrazi deck can probably beat itself, uh, if certain True. things break. You're probably not I wrong. think if, you know, like, uh, one of the decks doesn't maybe have mana, or mulligans to three or four. Yeah, yeah. That seems to be, uh, an advantage for one of the other decks. Or uh, if one of the Eldrazi decks, like, here's a bunch of temples. <laughs> and the other Eldrazi decks, here's, like, I only have brush lanes. Here's reality smashers and drowner oh. of hopes. And and the other guy's like, I have a, <laughs> I have a mattery shape. Maybe if you have Eldrazi it. decks like this, like, you you just make them kiss. Like, that's yeah, how you yeah. win. You just, the Eldrazi, if they kiss, then it's like a draw. Sure. Because the Eldrazi don't want to fight each other. Yeah, they're, you know. They're just hanging. They're a tribal. They're, know, yeah, they're, they're trying to be cool. They want to be together. Ben Miney now on a mulligan to five. Mm. So. Alright, well. Matt Bamante putting his money on Bant Eldrazi, uh, which is a safe bet. So, I don't know, man. Where, where are you getting these facts from? What are you, what are you basing this on? <laughs> what are you basing this me, off of? What article did you read? Give me the. <laughs> who, who, where'd you get this hot scoop? Where'd you get this info from? Can, can you show me some statistics? Ben Miney on five. Acceptable five. Yeah. All right. Noble Hierarch's good. Can I get a noble? I'll take it. Looking for a land. Is it a shock? It's going to be a shock. <laughs> he may not He may not actually have the land. Oh, Justin there it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, got it. <laughs> Old school Temple Garden. Nice. Ooh. Wow. -wee Zowie. <laughs> I like it in this match. <laughs> Fair point. Fair that's point. A, that's a solid point. Uh, it's, I'd say that's a fair <laughs> estimate. All right, you you call me. You got it. So Daniel Unger's Eldrazi now uncounterable. Yes. For Thank the God. Deck running no counter spells. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Eldrazi display, sir. That's a spicy meatball. Look at him. That's a nice one. You think Eldrazi's gonna start displacing some stuff or what? Uh, that's what they're known to do. Daniel Unger finds a temple. That's three manas. He can, he can match he can match with his own Eldrazi Displacer. There you go. Or he can do nothing because he's got it. I see it in his hand. <laughs> he can play it. He's just not. <laughs> this is where we're at now. We're so mad that we know they Mana have reshaper. Cards. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing, Daniel? Explosives Unger? in the main. What? <laughs> what? We're probably loud enough to hear. These walls are very thin. These, wa these walls are thin. And they're probably just they're mad at us. They're just like, oh, why? What's wrong with my play? Matter like those shapers, two, fine. Those two assholes back there are just yelling. They're not even giving good commentary. Are they even talking about us? <laughs> <laughs> ben Miney finds a temple of his own. Gonna stir again. All right, what do we find? Anything mm, cool? Oh, yeah, thought not. Oh, that's, that's boy. That's a nice one. Oh, wee. Oh, wee. <laughs> now nothing's going to happen. Oh, 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 never mind. Trigger. Oh, hey that's yo. a 4-4. Daniel Unger going to drop to 16. Doesn't want to throw that matter reshaper. Under the boost. to just die. Although it replaces itself, what's the big deal? <laughs> Maybe sometimes you hit an engineered explosive and you're like, uh-oh. Oh, oh I, ooh, I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, I, this does nothing for me. Justin Brickman figuring out how to go from 16 to 14. Yeah, that is <laughs> That's a, difficult. That's a skill. <laughs> Those spin-downs are tricky, but not as tricky as Tricky Brick. Not as tricky. Okay, so Daniel Unger, give me, give me some stuff, bud. So we're going to see... Oh, Sky Spawner. That makes a babe. Make us a scion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It just came. I got you. Where did it come from? Just, like, just that's how they're spawned. They just, they just, they just, but they just throw on up onto the table. Whoop. I'm here, guys. I'm here. Ben Wine, gonna untap. Did we blink the matter shaper there at the end? What did we do? No, I don't think we did know. anything. Yeah, it just, just attack. Did it attack? Did it, Why is it tapped? I don't know. Yeah, we must have blinked it. We did something to it. 
Is anyone watching this game? Uh, 23 viewers, yes. You're, play you're playing with Eldrazi tokens. I barely know what these cards do. That's a thought nuts here. I know what that card does. It's going to get Pat to exile. Not before its ability resolves. Daniel Unger going to draw his extra card. Ben Mani has his choice of an Eldrazi Displacer, a Reality Smasher, or Spellskite. Oh, see, people are saying it attacked, but is Ben Mani yeah. still at 17 then, or what, what happened there? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't I, I, I literally don't know. Great. Real top-notch coverage from I'm, this team. God. I'm literally... <laughs> my eyes are closed. I'm I'm just making educated guesses on what's happening. And you haven't corrected me. So. Well, good. Great. Thank so, God we're relying on me. So I believe a, a Displacer is now attacking. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's going to connect. Okay, there we go. It's going to connect, and we got to clip a Reality Smasher. That's nice. That's pretty cool. That's a that's a nice trade. Getting that 5-5 five, five Haste Trampler out. Table Joe says uh, life totals are correct on screen, so I'm going to believe him. All right, fair enough. There's an oh, Eldrazi oh, Displacer. An Eldrazi Displacer. That's neat. Here's an attack. Yep. Well, that's a big attack. Matter Reshaper... That gets in for a bit. Seven three, damage? Four, five, six, seven, yeah. Ooh, those, Yeah, wowie zowie. Is absolutely right. Engineered explosives for two? Three? Three. I, oh, yeah, I would assume. Foil engineered explosives. Yeah, blue, blue, green, white, yeah. Wait a minute, that's my foiled engineered explosives. What? He took that out of the legacy deck. What? That son savage. of a gun. Savage. What an absolute savage. And he needs it for his deck. Oh, I see what he did. All right, Ben Miney. He registered it. He needed it. He's like, oh, Andrew's got it in his legacy deck that I'm playing. Perfect. So that is an EE on three. Are we just going to bounce displacers? We are not, because Ben Miney's is a 4-4. Four, four. Ooh. Ooh wee. Wee. Daniel Unger, just gonna shove right back. You gonna are you gonna pop engineered explosives, Ben Mining? <laughs> uh, I might. think so. You might. I think you do. You might want to. I think you might. Or you can take seven. I mean, you're the one in top four and the not problem me. is is he okay with, with having his displacer also die? Well yeah. It's it's the mirror. everything's gonna die. Ben's gonna go down to three after this attack. Or did he did he block did one? We blo what what no. happened? We oh, we certainly did not block. Did anywhere. we push one out of play? Yeah, we must have blinked. We must have blink a blink, blink a Rooney one. That's banner. Or we blinked him. Yeah, weird. Very odd. Ben Mani at seven, I guess. Okay. Guess Ben Mine is at seven. I gotta go with their life totals. You gotta love Eldrazi Displacer. It just does things and you don't know about it. Just activates and suddenly combat damage just doesn't happen. Suddenly combat damage is gone. Where'd it go? So Daniel Unger Ancient Stirrings finds a reality smasher. Thought Nuts here, though. Gonna play a Thought Nuts here. You Other get, engineered explosives. Get, That's also foil. Maybe that one's mine. Probably. I don't even know. Money's on it. I mean, do you have two in your legacy deck? No, I got one in the sideboard, I think. Mm, weird. So it's possible that neither of these are yours. Whoa, don't talk like that. Whoa, hey, bro. You're way off base. Where do Seriously, you, huh? Where are these allegations coming from all of a sudden? Where do you, where do you get these allegations from? And money. Gonna attack with an Eldrazi Displacer. Now has enough uh, has enough mana up to activate it twice. I like so it. So we can do some weirdness where we uh, are bouncing a thought knots here, but that doesn't seem fun. It doesn't. We're just losing the card it draws us. Daniel Younger also with Reality Smasher in hand. Yeah, I imagine. Did you talk about the Reality Smasher? I I I mentioned it. Okay. I mentioned how we got it. Yeah, it's a strong card. I, we should probably play it. 
we're, we're going to play a spell skite instead. That makes sense because it can be bounced via an Eldrazi displacer via activation. Via just Eldrazi. It's like, yeah, you're just going to bounce this instead. But Mine's going for it. Going to go for the Scion token. It Deep. doesn't come back. Deep play. That card does not return. That happens. Yep, that just happens. Is Ben Miney activating it again? I don't know what he's doing. Well, whatever he's targeting, it's going at Spells. Nope. nope. Just gonna let it happen. Ben Miney gets to draw and land. I guess he can't activate it without painting himself. Right. Ah, uh, decisions. They're what do you do? They're so hard. What do you do? I'd I'd let it bounce my spell sky <laughs> so I can attack with the reality smasher. <laughs> or uh Put the dot nuts here. And, and a sky spawner sure. and a matter reshaper. I'm getting aggressive. I'm going for the kill right now. There we go. Been mining gonna fetch. Okay. Going down to sixteen. Mm-hmm. Or six, I'm sorry. Yeah, minor difference. A minor slight minor difference. difference. It's, fine. it's about ten. T difference to ten. Shout out to so. the good GF. Dan's girlfriend, watching the stream, has never played Magic before, has no idea what we're talking about, just knows that two delusional men are watching her boyfriend play Magic and talk nonsense. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're good for, so yeah. we'll continue to do that. There's a block. That is a block. So, three coming in. Three prevented. We lose our noble, though. Ben Money just saying, I don't know what like, happened. I, I guess, yeah. I guess that happens. I guess this needs to die now. Ben Money down to four. Yep, yeah, dropping to four. Takes two from Sky Spawner. Reality Smasher? Uh, we do not have mana for that nope, currently. we do not. Uh, not sure if we have mana for anything else. I believe Reality Smasher is the only card in our hand. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's got a Displacer too. He can run out the Displacer if yeah, he Yeah, I would. But he probably doesn't want to run it in the Engineer Explosive set on three. I would. <laughs> I'm glad you stuck by your play there. I would. I, would. I definitely would. I want it to die. I want that Engineered Explosive gone. Ancient Stirring seems good off the top. Yeah, it does. Does it happen? I he's, don't know. He he took one card. He's pump faking it. I think it happens. I don't think we're worried about counter spells. Oh, and finds the Drowner of Hope. That's a good one. Especially now that Ben Miney still has his Displacer because Daniel Unger didn't do my super secret tech play of running out his to just die. Right, right, to just die. Because then... <laughs> Ben Miney only has a Drowner of Hope. We still have a Thought Not Seer. And our Matter Reshaper replaces itself. Like, it's fine. We're totally fine. Drowner There's of Drowner. Hope. There's Drowner. Look at him. Drowning Hope. Yeah, he does that. Gonna get two Scions. There they are. Quickie Brick on the Scion making. Oh, God, look, Twitch chat's actually commentating better than we are. Oh, well, for sure. Good for you guys. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Matt Pomonte's giving us the old Ric Flair. You know he's hyped up now. <laughs> you know you're in for a good time. Reality Smasher. Pro yeah, probably. One time me. Like, just, why even, why are we even? Show this? me the money. Show me reality pot money. <laughs> potato salad. <laughs> nope. Mm. Oh wow! Look at this. Another another quality magic player in the stream. Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Joe, Joe Lissette. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Joe. Good work. There today. it is. There's Reality Smasher. He's made it. He's gonna smash your reality. He's like, oh, you got a genre hope. That's that's fine. We're fine with this. Let's get aggressive. Well, I don't think we get aggressive here, but <laughs> it would have been not nice to have a reality smasher last turn, maybe. Yeah, not against but, the drowner hope. But now Ben has a drowner hope, so 
Awkward. Although they're just gonna get tapped down, so he might as well just send him in. Hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's beat. I think he kind of dropped this one by not playing that Reality Smasher last turn. That's what chat seems to think. Here's yeah. an attack, though. I think, I think they're right. I think they called it. So, not a whole lot of mana to work with on Ben's side. Can't bounce Reality Smasher. Mm -hmm. Spell Skype back up. All the more assurance. Maybe one, maybe one will play, pay for Spell Skype? I don't know. Maybe snap off some taps here. Yeah, that that would do it. Okay, well, we most definitely have to block. True. Our life total would dictate that we do. There's no question. The block happens. The creatures will trade. The trade is real. So good on Daniel there. He at least gets Drowner off the field, uh, which is just recurring scions yeah. if it stays on. Daniel Unger with the higher caliber of creatures currently. He's got a thought not to beat a displacer and a bunch of other creatures to beat measly little scion tokens. I mean, his air game's pretty good too, yeah? Yeah. He's got a creature with flying. Yeah, very the, true. The evasion is real. What are, we, what are we doing here, Ben? Ben looks like he found a sky spawner. That's not nothing. That'll at least uh, secure the air for us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Taps for it. Still not playing it, though. Yeah, we'll tap that Adjust way. the mana a little mm -hmm. bit. Sky Spawner hits. We'll get another Scion. Mm -hmm. We might be able to go wide here soon. And we'll pass the turn. But I feel like all of Dan's top decks are just as live as all of Ben's, though. You yeah, know for I mean? sure. Like, I mean, it'd be nice if he had a, you know, Displacer... Looks like another matter shape. Well, he does. He still has the displacer in his hand. I know. It'd be nice to have it on the field and I be agree. Able, to, able to bounce. Things. I agree. Because this is this is what this, I think. This might come down to he's just Ben Miney just has more scions and can just Could go be. wide to win if left unchecked. So we're sending in a sky spawner. This is fine to just take the hit or just trade. We can go block, activate Displacer. Display Baby? That seems like the best option. Doesn't seem bad. So Sky Spawner's blocked. We get another Scion. That seems great. Daniel Unger catching on. Playing a Displacer of his own. He's like, oh, I... I see. Wow, that card seems good. I see you have a way to make... A lot of guys. Is that another Drowner of Hope? Yep. That is definitely a Drowner. Oh. And we're going to play it. And I like Ben Miney's seat now. <laughs> I kind of like where he's sitting in this in this game. Wow. Well, here you go. Drowner of Hope inbound. Mm -hmm. Ready to tap down some dude. We'll get a trigger. I know we've got the Scient. I'm looking at like a hundred of them. We here. did have we did have somewhere close to 250. I don't know why they're like, tokens. I've got them. Like, look at them. Ah. <laughs> okay, well, here's a bunch of them. Yep, so Ben Miney separating the sick from the ones able to attack. We mm. can go tap, tap, tap. Tap. We can go tap, tap. We need five. We could sack. One, two. We could sack our five and still... Uh, one, two. Yeah, we could sack our five and just get in with a Scion, a Sky Spawner, and... Right. And we win. And we, when and we're we just good. win. We're golden. We win the game. I like it. We just win the game, Ben Miney. You win the game. Do you want to win the game? Ben Miney, do you want to win the game? He's trying, man. He's maybe trying. maybe there he try, Maybe he pays two life to Hang redirect on. a spell. Hang on, no. Uh -oh. I think he'll see it. Uh -oh. I think he'll see it. We'll get there. We'll get there. We can math two, three, four. Matt Hauser, very, ag two, very aggressive two plus here. Three plus one is six. <laughs> Guys, I'm I'm kind of scared in the booth he's, right now. He's come on, he's got it. He's getting he's getting a little the uppity mighty, over win here. Win the game, just win the game. <laughs> Please just win the game. Untimed rounds, really painful for guys who have been here since eight in the morning. Oh my God, just win the game. What are you doing? You could just win the game. 
Maybe he's scared. You can just win the game, though. Tap uh -huh. that one, he says. Uh -huh. He wants to do it systematically in case something happens, man. Okay, that's very good. He's like, no, no, these can attack. No, no, these are fine. Daniel Lunger, no way to activate his his displacer to prevent anything. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Yep. Mapamonte just leaving. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. Oh. oh, and has he figured it out? He's figured it Wait, out. Wait, what? Wait, what? What is happening? Yeah. All oh, right. God, thank you. Oh, oh man. man. Thank you. Oof. Ooh-wee. Oh, I'm surprised that happened. Guys. Ooh-wee. We got there. Everyone made it through. What happened should have happened. What ben Miney is up a game. Ben Miney up a game over Danny Longer. They're going to take a look at the deck list. We might as well, too, huh? Yeah, why not? Oh, well, wait. Now I'm going to load this thing up, and it's going to be just yeah. cockamaming. We're going to mm -hmm. look terrible. Yep, for sure. <laughs> oh, why would you say that? I'm just agreeing with you. Maybe I can do that. Nope, nope, that didn't work at all. Why did I the hit board. that? <laughs> all right, there we go. Wait, this isn't even his... Oh, God. God. Come on. Andrew. Who's running this? You are. <laughs> Stop. Whoever's, it's not, you know... Whoever's controlling this should just well, be fired. Now we look terrible in front of Joe, and I, I'm never going to live that down. But this is Ben Miney's Bant Eldrazi list. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, is it... The same 75? Uh, I don't know if it's the same, but it's pretty darn close. Yeah, like... I think their sideboards may be uh, slightly different, mm -hmm. but I believe their main boards are, are pretty spot on. Yeah. Yes. But, All right, well, good. I mean, we could That's we could do a quick check, and we'll nice, pull yeah. up Daniel Unger's list here and take a peek and make sure I'm in modern before I click something and look like an idiot. I mean, we're, we're well past that, Andrew. Just Well, definitely slightly different. Yes. But so it actually looks like Daniel's running way more creatures, yeah. or a few more creatures. He doesn't have the removal spells main board mm -hmm. uh, that Ben does, but I mean this is this is pretty close. Uh, he's he's cut a few numbers in the sideboard too. Yeah, looks like it. Slight differences for sure, but pretty pretty static. Yeah, they're more or less doing the exact same things. Let's get back to the match. See if these guys are done sideboarding. I can't imagine they are, and I can't imagine there's a lot we're bringing in against one another? Um, probably not. Most uh, counter spells are just dead. Yeah. Because of our caverns on each side. Maybe some initial uh, engineered explosives? EEs are good. Um, I guess any any removal that can sway the game in one's favor is... Yeah. Yeah. You try to play like some of the larger creatures, like Daniel had a Thrag Tusk in his side. Do you bring yeah. that in? Try to be aggressive with it? I mean, it's a pretty good target for Eldrazi Displacer. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Um, yeah, I'd bring it in. And it's definitely not a card that like your opponent is going to try and displace really either, right? Yeah, they might. Uh, well, no, they certainly wouldn't. Just no value in that whatsoever. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's a good one. That's arguably main deckable, but I get why it's not. It's a little odd. But I bring it in. It's a good uh yeah, it's a good way to generate value. I mean you can just constantly get three threes and right. just outgain your opponent. Sure. I like that. I like that as a uh a line. I think it's fair. definitely take. Yep, for sure. Around that ten o'clock mark right now. Our streaming software tells us we've been streaming for uh twelve hours, twenty six minutes and thirty one seconds. Nice. It's not too bad, right? Huh. It's, it's like all right. Seem, you know, it seems like an hour. Yeah, like, it's it. Time uh, flies when you're having just fun. The day just flying by. I feel like I got here an hour ago, and you're just ready to do more, right? Took took a few waters. Took a few. Waters. Got a got a, some noodles. Yeah. Ate those. Yeah. In about five seconds. Yeah, I was hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I was starving. That was a unfortunate time to receive our food. This has been a good event, though, and oh, I, for sure. I I honestly hope that. Uh, you know, 
more people catch on to, to how fun these events are for the players themselves. Like, all the players I've talked to today have had a fantastic day. They've had a blast. Yeah, yeah positive I think, experience. A, a free tournament for money, Will. Yeah, we'll it's pretty that. good, right? Absolutely. Uh, and even leading up to it, like, the CTs are valuable tournaments. And, <laughs> and they're fun to play in. They give you a, a nice jump-off point for some competitive magic. And Certainly. you're definitely not playing against, like... Uh, I, I want to say you're you're probably playing against some mid grade to better magic players, so yeah. it's got to be a good time. And I think this top eight format specifically gives the players a way to kind of test each other's metal, mm-hmm. and I like that. I mean, it's very cool. I have to say, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Not to be controversial, you know. Like yeah. Pretty much just agree with everything you said. Thanks. So that's dude. okay. Thank yeah. you. You know, whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Every now and then, I've got a a nugget of truth. Yeah, you know, you, you find, you know, you dig through a coal mine, you know, you're going to find, you're going to find a gem, a tiny little gem, deep, eventually. <laughs> Just deep down there? Deep down there, eventually. Tiny. Amongst all the coal. Yeah, you got this, bud. Players, uh, shuffling out here. Everyone's sideboarded. Getting ready for game two. Yep. Ben Miney giving his deck a good old shuffle. Get, getting some hand motions in the mix. Yeah. Getting some cool looking maybe, shuffs. Maybe stretching out a little bit, you know. Yeah, loosening up, limbering up. I, I know that feeling. Oh, that feels good, actually. That's a good, good call, Ben Miney. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stretch it out. Get it stretched out, man. The, Make uh, yourself feel good. I like doing leg muscles when get I'm some in energy the going in you. Yeah, for sure. You know, just doing some, uh, doing some like, toe taps and things like that. <laughs> you and your toe taps. Doing some toe taps. Players drawing their seven. We'll see if we're good. I like Ben Miney's hand. He's got the lands, the hierarchs, a temple. Looks like a thought knot. That seems just fine. Daniel Unger's hand, strangely enough, pretty similar. As he has lands and nobles and a reality smasher and like a temple. All like right, it. that seems good. think we can work with this, guys. think we can work with these hands. The tricky brick was here but did not get to play. He uh, he was he he's our table mm-hmm. uh, judge for today, and he's done a he's done a pretty good job. I got to give him some credit. He's he's done some good work, yeah, old he's, trickster. He's been all over it. Uh, has the life totals incorrect? But you know, it's uh, they're, they're pretty they're pretty correct right now. There you go. Uh, there you he go. does like to he does like to touch the dice a little too often than he needs to. It's very quick on the dice. I just got an update. Noah Cohen uh, defeats Peter Tragos to move on to the finals. Wow. Congrats. There you go. That was quick. So, yeah. Unger with a fetch into a breeding pool into a noble hierarch. We pass the turn. Ben Miney with a breeding pool <laughs> into a noble hierarch. Oh, are we? And we'll oh, pass we're doing the, the same turn. thing? Oh, man. Mirror matches, you know? Gotta love them. Let's see, we're going to get a basic planes from Unger. And a spell skite. And a hierarch will push out another hierarch. That's a pretty affinity esque play, I'd have to say. I like it. Oh, but here it is. You know what, though? Is this Everything the you just did. Right here's here? a thought knot. Dang. All that stuff you just did? Yeah. Let me just outdo it really quick here. I'll show you a land and a birds, and you can take my reality <laughs> smasher. Noah Jeez. ended up playing Jeskai. Uh, he played control. Jeskai Control in Modern. Yeah. He played Red Green Energy in Standard in Four Color Aggro Loam in Legacy. That deck is sweet. The Four Color Aggro yeah, Loam is very deck, good. That's yeah. very cool. Tag. Right. Trigger. Yep. Ben Miney coming in hot. Getting aggressive. Got a 5 5. There's a Blockster. We're getting a chump. There's a path. A path. Ooh. Wow we. Wow we now we save our hierarch. Draw a card. I like it. I oh, like it. The too. card just disappeared under the table. No, it's just so black. Ooh, that is a shiny shiny basic. Ben Mighty. There it is. It's a plane. Jeez. Yeah, that's blinding. What's happening over who's, there? Who's working the lighting in this thing? Come on, guys. Who, who handles that? Can Andrew? someone get some better camera action, please? Can we can we please get a clear shot of this planes, guys? Ben Miney gonna follow up with a windswept heat and pass the turn. Daniel Unger will play a shock of zone and pass the turn. Okay. 
Life total 17? 17. 17 all. I don't know. Ben Miney find, finds himself another thought knot. Seems pretty good. Looks like he draws a temple. Have we seen Ben Miney cast a, a reality smasher yet? I don't think so. Hmm. I, I, I don't believe so. But here's another attack with Thought Knot. Yeah, why not? Why not? You might as well, huh? I, I see no reason not to. Opponent's low on cards. His creature's just chumping at this point. Nothing blocks without dying. So we take the damage. Daniel Unger drops to 12. Daniel Unger dropping to 12? Yeah. Well, we attacked with a 5-5. Five five. That seems good. That's, that's well, how I, I guess this Thought Nuts here is doing work, but now we've got a... Well, it does when the normal Hierarchs well. down there, too, you know. Oh, a little pump action? Get a little pump trigger. Yeah, why not? Oh, here we go. Oh, now it's money time. <laughs> so we get to Drowner of Hope, and we get to Ancient Stir to and find there Reality it is. Smasher. All right. That's how you command a game. Now we're doing it. Daniel Unger going to draw. This is what an Eldrazi deck looks like on the left here. Yeah. And whatever this right stuff is, I don't know. I don't <laughs> it's know some what's weird infect deck. I don't know yeah. what it is. <laughs> there is oh, there's Displacer, something. though, is kind of sweet. There's something. Displacer will do. Well, it won't really do much for us. I don't know. It's still... really nothing worth bouncing just yet. Uh, mainly just preventing damage from. Sure. I mean, but what are you choosing amongst a Drowner and a Thought Knot? You're just giving Ben value. There's going to be a path. We're going to go for a Displacer. We're going to change it to Unger Spell says, Skype. Uh, uh, uh. All right. And okay. then there's a second path. I'll go ahead and path again. Stop. To, to get rid of your Displacer. It's too many paths. <laughs> it's all the paths. So, but, I mean, all right, Danny Lunger gets two basics. Only able to find one, I mm -hmm. believe. Interesting. Is that, is that how we, uh, is that the basic count? Just one plains and one forest? That doesn't seem right. Uh, it might be. Seems like there might be more than that. I don't think so. Hmm. All right, well, one's better than none, I guess. Displacer's going to get exiled here eventually. Sooner or and later. And Ben Miney likely going to attack again with a 5 5 thought knot mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. position himself for a follow up where Drowner can just tap down these nobles right. and just crush. Yeah. I think Daniel's doing some quick math here and saying, oh boy, even if I tap down this Drowner, I hope it's, it's not very good. Yeah. No real reason to at this point. But We're only giving him more signs. Reality Smasher. Jeez. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll just get in with nine. Tap tap. Tap tap. And then attack for a tap, tap. bunch. Tap tap. That's it. Yeah. Ben Miney's yeah. gonna take this two over. Daniel Unger. Yikes. That was an explosive Sealing game. the deal. Yeah, that was a really big game for uh, for Ben. It was. Just found the right Aldrazi. Daniel Unger 